Zach Miller is with the Trucking Association of New York. You are not going to divert over 6,000 trucks based on the tax. What you're going to do is you're going to put companies out of business. <laughs> and deliveries. As CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports, many of those trucks heading to Midtown could now pay a big price. The Department of Transportation has said one of the top three zip codes for daily freight deliveries is in Midtown Manhattan next to the Lincoln Tunnel. That falls in Manhattan's Central Business District, which is the area below 60th Street. In one scenario being proposed for congestion pricing during peak hours, small trucks could pay anywhere from $12 to $65. And for large trucks, the price could be anywhere from $12 to $82. I feel like enough is enough, man. They paid enough. It's a horrible time to do it. Don't do it. We have to pay the delivery, man. We have to pay the gasoline. Then we have to pay what? Another, another charge? I mean, how do you think we feel? The proposal suggests any cost increase would be minimal because it will be divided among several customers that trucks deliver to. The report does acknowledge that some commodity sectors like construction materials, electronics, and beverages are more prone to increases due to less competition within the delivery market. I have spoken to some contractors who've expressed concerns that that cost is going to be passed on to consumers. MTA Chairman Jano Lieber said the review board will consider incentives for trucks to come in overnight when there's less traffic. Is there going to be any consideration for trucks delivering food or medicine so that cost isn't passed on? Well, are, that, that's a very good point. There are a lot of different issues that this group, the Traffic Mobility Review Board, is going to have to weigh. With tolling technology set up across 60th Street, along the West Side Highway and the FDR, the proposal acknowledges trucks may instead travel through Staten Island or the South Bronx. Zach Miller is with the Trucking Association of New York. You are not going to divert over six thousand trucks based on the tax. What you're going to do is you're going to put companies out of business.